G -G -G, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Listen, man, we out here, codingface.com. Make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe. One more thing, man. I need you guys to start sharing these videos on Reddit and on dig.com, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere, man. Anywhere that you know other developers is at, share it. Trust me. Listen, we're going to do five projects, all right? Five projects that's going to test to see, basically, if you're ready for prime time. Are you ready to start going to interviews? Like, with these five projects, you pretty much, if you could actually get done all five of them, you are ready to start going for interviews, right? Like, I'm being honest. So, we're going to start with this. You know, five projects to test your web development skills, right? Number one, go to dribble.com, choose a design for a website that you like, build that in HTML and CSS. It has to be responsive and close to the design, you know, close as possible to the design, right? So, you're going to come here to dribble.com. And you're gonna say, hey, um, whatever you wanna do, like let's say uh web design, right? Let's say something cool, a design that you might like, right? Like let's say an example, uh let's see cold school. Well that one's fine. Let's say something like this, something nice, simple, right? You're gonna come here. And you basically you're gonna build this. Of course, you could choose whatever design you want of any website. And you know, it's not stealing. This is just for you know for uh, practice. So you could actually take somebody's design and practice. You know, creating you know your website, right? So you're gonna make this into HTML, CSS, and you know, and that's it. And make it responsive. It's not that that difficult, right? So if you could do that and make it exactly how it looks, you know, with the same gradient, same colors in the background, then, you know, you're ready to move on to the next one, you know, the next step. All right. Then from there, you're going to create a to-do app. You're going to come back here and you're going to search to-do app. You're going to take one with a nice design, something that you like, right? Something that you feel it's cool so you're gonna come here and let's say let's say an example uh, let's say something like this right which is something simple right you're gonna take something like that or that was like something there was a tutu app that was pretty nice uh, let me see uh, Okay, guys, you already know, man. I'm doing this shit live, man. So I'm not really. This is like improvised. I just came up with this idea. Uh, one of my uh subscribers gave me the idea. Hey, give me five five projects, man. So you know, here you go. You know, find a to-do app, right? Something like this, right? You have whiteboard. Get get inspiration out of this, right? And create a to-do app. So if you've never seen a, a to-do app, it's just pretty much something simple like you come here, images, something like that. It's like, you know, you're going to be able to write, uh, you know, a task, you know, be able to delete it, edit it, you know, and be able to see what's inside of it. That's a to-do app. If not, just, you know, Google it pretty much but created with you know with HTML CSS and JavaScript okay the first project was just HTML CSS now the second project you gotta add it with JavaScript I wanna see some interaction so something interactive for this right so the third one is pretty much you're gonna come to the Star Wars API right swappy.co right and you're gonna take this API and you're pretty much gonna get you know, like let's say an example, peoples, right? You're gonna get this API, and from there, it's gonna give you a result. Then from there, what you're gonna do with that data, you're gonna create a page that connects to the API and basically display something. You know, I don't care what it is, just if it's just the title, if it's just saying, hey, this is Darth Vader's page, or this is 
Luke's page or whatever you want to create. You know, it's up to you. Be creative. Create something cool, you know. So, but the whole point of this is, is just to see if you could actually know how to, you know, read an API and be able to connect to it. Number four, do some research on JavaScript front-end frameworks, right? Write the pros and cons. It doesn't matter just, you know, which ones you pick. It could be uh, Vue, React, Angular, whatever you're more comfortable with, especially for now, for 2017, right? Or Angular 2, and pretty much create, you know, rebuild the, the first project and, you know, recreate it now but with a single page app right so it's that simple okay now number five create an api with node.js and connect your number two project with it so remember the to do app that you had to do in javascript i want you to connect that to the node.js api and be able to you know post data into your your server so you have to create something like let's say in express right something simple and connect it to a, a database a mysql or mongodb whatever you decide right so it's pretty simple if you could do those five things right then you're ready to you know for, for prime time it's that simple like if you could do five things from this list then you're gonna be fine if you can't do it then it means you still gotta work on a couple of little things you know just touch it up Alright, anyways guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again.